the sunlight. It is the energy. Leaves get this energy during the daytime. From sunlight, leaves always face towards the sun so as to receive maximum sunlight. 2. Water and Nutrients Plants get water and nutrients from the soil. Roots absorb the water and nutrients from the soil and the stem transports this water, salts and minerals to every part of the plant through veins inside the stem. Then is the carbon dioxide. Leaves get carbon dioxide from the surrounding air and it enters the leaves through the small openings in leaves called stoma or stomata. Stomata are very small structures on the outer surface of a leaf. They consist of two specialized cells called guard cells that surround a tiny pore called a stoma. Next ingredient is the chlorophyll. It is a green pigment which is present in the leaves. And this green pigment, chlorophyll, helps the plant to trap the sunlight. So kids, these are the ingredients required by the green plants or leaves to make their food and the process is called photosynthesis. The process is written as carbon dioxide plus water and minerals in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. It forms glucose, water, and oxygen. This prepared food is stored in various forms, in the form of fruits, in the form of vegetables, in the form of different parts of plants that we can eat. So in this process, plants use carbon dioxide, water, minerals in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll to make glucose, which is stored as eatable parts of the plant, and also release some water in the form of water vapors and oxygen in the air. All fruits, vegetables, and different parts of the plant that we eat are prepared by plants with the process of photosynthesis. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!